Now, see a AC generator here. AC generator is actually it is a device which is used to produce alternating current and see it is not actually generator and there is energy conversion takes place, but its name is generator actually here. So, here mechanical energy gets converted into electrical energy and its working is based on the fact that when a coil is rotated in a magnetic field, then magnetic flux linked with the coil changes and as a result EMF is induced. And now see here, here is the change in magnetic flux takes place due to change in the orientation of the coil. So, suppose you have taken two magnets uh, sorry one magnet and whose one is the north pole is over here and south pole is over here. Direction of magnetic field from north to south, there is a rectangular coil placed here and there is the shaft actually here and it is rotating about this with angular velocity omega. Now, and this is connected to the ring and there is a carbon brush B 1 and another part is connected to the another ring. This ring is R 1 and this ring is R 2 and there is a carbon brush we can take B 2. So, see here this ring can is actually rotating and now this ring can rotate against this brushes without moving the brushes here. And now there is a high resistances or the load resistance R is connected and we take output over here. This coil has got n number of turns, n is the number of turns in coil in this rectangular coil. Now, when this coil is rotated between the poles of the magnet angle between the area vector of the coil and magnetic field keeps on changing as a result change in magnetic flux takes place. Because of that current is induced, that current comes outside here and that current or the output can be taken here across this resistance. So, now this how does this current uh, actually produce here? We have to study here. So, now let us see here the another diagram re, uh, related to this. And in this diagram just I will be explaining here the area vector and the magnetic field. Suppose you have got this is the north pole of the magnet and this is the south pole of the magnet and magnetic field is like this. There is a coil whose area vector is to this side that we can take as area vector A. Suppose this angle is theta. So, flux at any time can be given here N B A cos theta where n is the number of turns, b is magnetic field, a is area and cos theta or the theta is angle between area vector and magnetic field. Now, when this coil is rotated magnetic flux changes and induced EMF is given that is E is equal to here we can write induced EMF minus d phi upon d t that can be written E is equal to minus d upon d t n b a cos omega t because we can write here theta is equal to omega t. Omega is the angular velocity of the coil with which it is rotating. Now, we can differentiate it. When we differentiate it, we will be getting induced EMF E is equal to minus n b a omega and minus sin omega t that will be here n b a omega sin omega t. And now we can write this suppose uh, sin omega t is maximum or you can say if sin omega t is equal to 1, then we can write maximum emf e naught is equal to n a b omega and this equation can be written e is equal to e naught sin omega t. And now, this e naught is known as peak value of emf or the maximum value of emf and this is known as your instantaneous value of emf. And this instantaneous value of emf is actually varying according to this sin omega t. 
when you draw this graph of this you will be getting like this sine curve where e you have taken here and t to this side this is the 0 this is your t by 4 this is t by 2 this is 3 t by 4 and this is your t this is the plus e naught this is maximum one and this is the minus e naught so value of the emf is actually oscillating or varying between the plus e naught and minus e naught so it is from here starting from zero in t by 4 it is achieving maximum value then in t by 2 it is coming to the zero and again in 3 t by 4 it is going to here the negative that is minus e naught and then in t time it is coming to here so the direction of the induced emf and you can say also the current keeps on changing periodically that is why this emf is known as alternating emf or alternating voltages here and also the current induced is known as alternating current so we can also get the graph for the current over here we know i is equal to e upon r r is the resistance so then we can write i is equal to e naught upon r sin omega t and then we can write i is equal to i naught sin omega t and now here i naught is the peak value of the current i is the instantaneous value of current its graph also can be taken like this and the graph is here in this way where you take i over here and this is 0 this is t by 4 it is here and this is 3 t by 2 this is 3 t by 4 and this is t and this is time here by putting these values of time over here you can get all these values that is a sine curve again here the value of the current is changing magnitude and direction of the current is changing periodically this current is known as alternating current so by changing the orientation of the coil we can get the current and suppose if the direction of the current remains fixed magnitude may oscillate or the may change then that current is known as the direct current if also the magnitude and direction both remains fixed then that is also known as the direct current or the steady current so this is about the AC generator and the working of the AC generator and the principle of the AC generator here and now you can draw all this diagram and you can understand how does a generator work.